Hello from the Lube Supplier store in Stanley. Uh, one of the reasons that customers tell us that they come to us is for information. We like people to make informed decisions and to have confidence after they make a purchase that the purchase that they made was the right one. And uh, one of the ways that we do that is with comparisons. And so uh, in our local shopper, we had a competitor's uh, mower that they published the price, which is obviously a very helpful thing for consumers. This particular unit is a Quest from Xmark uh, at $3,299. Uh, many of our competitors uh, choose not to put prices uh, on their ads, and that makes it a little tougher for consumers to do comparisons. But uh, in this instance, uh, the price is listed, and that makes it uh, very convenient. Now, the picture here is black and white. Uh, so I have uh, taken the liberty to jump online and pull up the color version on the Xmark website. And the uh, kind of closest uh, comparison that we would have to that more would be the Aaron's Icon. Uh, the Icon is available in a 42 or a 52 inch deck. Uh, the uh, Quest that we were just looking at, uh, the one that's published is a 42 inch deck it would be this model right here uh, and there are several uh, pretty easily uh, kind of recognizable differences uh, a couple of them are subtle but uh, if you were mowing you would notice them uh, one you'll see that the quest does not have uh, armrests uh, on the seat uh, while the uh, Aaron's icon uh, will have armrests and and uh, that's a little bit subjective but uh, we believe it's a little bit more uh, comfortable seat. Also, you'll see on the deck on the Aaron's uh, that there is a middle uh, anti-scalp wheel to aid if you were to uh, go over a, a little mound, something like that, uh, that was uh, in between the wheels that would aid in preventing the blades uh, from scalping. Uh, on the Quest, you'll find that uh, there is no uh, wheel in the middle uh, between the the two uh, front caster wheels. They just have the outside uh, guide wheels. Uh, one of the biggest differences uh, when we look at the Quest versus the uh, Aaron's is in the engine. The Aaron's is going to come with a uh, Kawasaki engine uh, and uh, the Quest is going to come with a Xmark engine uh, and that can be a little bit confusing. Xmark doesn't manufacture engines and so when you see a manufacturer listing the engine as just being the same brand as the lawnmower uh, that basically means that they're having a manufacturer make an engine for them uh, typically it would not be an american engine in the case of the x mark uh, i believe it is a chinese engine um, and those engines are um, manufactured by a third party and uh, labeled as uh, being made by the, the manufacturer of the mower, uh, which can be a little bit confusing. Um, the single disadvantage with that is that typically uh, that forces you to go to the manufacturer of the mower in order to have engine service, where if you have a uh, American-made brand name engine such as Briggs & Stratton or Kohler, Kawasaki, you're going to have uh, lots and lots of options as far as where you choose uh, to go for service. And uh, frankly, I think most people uh, would agree, and it, it also bears out in the reviews uh, of both of these machines that uh, engine quality, when you use the um, non-name brand overseas engines that are relabeled, uh, they tend to be a little bit more uh, problematic and that uh, is is reflected again in customer experiences so we can see that pretty easily we see this is rated 88 percent uh, for satisfaction it is 4.3 stars uh, if we sort and try to get an idea of what uh, people are having uh, issues with between these two machines uh, the worst uh, review here is a one star uh, it says after 179 hours, uh, it sits unusable for the fifth time, and uh, they're having issues with uh, deck failures. Uh, another one here says uh, never again. It's the third time that uh, I've had it uh, in the shop, all due to an oil leak, and it has less than 20 hours on it. Um, 
so those are the kind of things that you're going to find with the, um, you know, uh, lower quality non-American engines. Uh, this one says, as far as I'm concerned, it's a poor quality mower, less than 20 hours, and uh, the engine is apparently not starting uh, and giving some engine problems. So um, those are the types of things that you'll find with uh, the non U.S. built engines and non-name brand engines. Um, when we look at the worst review on the errands, uh, again, we, we're sorting these by lowest rating. The worst review is a four-star, uh, which says great, more for the money. And you would be hard-pressed to find a person uh, with one of these Kawasaki engines that's disappointed. They uh, are very reliable, very good on... Um, you know, parts availability, things like that. Even if you've had them for a long time, uh, you can continue to get parts. And what's notable is that you can get parts from any dealer. Uh, virtually every lawnmower shop is going to have Kawasaki engine parts or Kohler engine parts, things like that. When you have a brand name that is not uh, a, a national name brand, again, the parts availability becomes much more challenging in the future. And last, uh, but most certainly not least, if we scroll up here and look at the price, $29.99, and that uh, is available at that price with 0% interest for 48 months, where here we compare it uh, to another machine at $32.99, uh, which is only available at 0% for 42 months. So you get another six months to pay. It's going to make your payment lower, plus the upfront price of the machine is uh, lower with the errands. Uh, now, some other kind of key features uh, the transmissions on these machines are identical, uh, both uh, hydro gear transmissions, they're a, a good, reliable transmission. Uh, the one area where we do see a spec from the Xmark that does appear to be higher is in the deck uh, thickness of the steel. It is a 10 gauge uh, deck uh, right here, uh, where on the errands it is an 11 gauge. Uh, what's interesting, though, is uh, even though they're claiming this deck has thicker steel, if we go up to the warranty, um, and they uh, kind of kick us out to a PDF, uh, but the warranty is three years, uh, and that basically covers uh, uh, you know all the key components uh, of, of the machine, including uh, the deck and the frame, uh, as well as uh, in... Most cases, I believe it would be the engine. Definitely, it would be with Kawasaki. Uh, where, uh, if we come over and look at the warranty info uh, for uh, errands, we're going to find uh, that the uh, we'll open that same uh, PDF, and we'll find that the uh, warranty is three years on the. Uh, more uh, it's also three years on the engine but what's most notable is that the uh, deck has a five-year warranty on, on the deck and the frame uh, so even though they they are listing that that deck as being um, a little bit thinner uh, steel the overall deck design and the and the frame design and you can kind of see that here uh, it's a welded tubular steel frame uh, because of the design of that uh, deck and frame, they are willing to back it up with a uh, five-year warranty. Uh, and notably, uh, it's a, a larger deck as well, which uh, makes a difference. So uh, just a few things to consider when you're comparing uh, different machines. Uh, it's more than just the, the price that is relevant. And uh, we find that uh, when we look at the Aaron's and Gravely machines that they consistently bring better value and uh, lower payments and just an overall uh, better user experience with brand name, uh, brand name uh, components that are going to give you trouble-free service for a long time. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to check out this comparison and we hope that you stop by and look at them in person. Thanks a lot and have a great night.